Hello everybody, welcome back to First Friday Fives here on Go Big Bore or Go Home, where recoil is required. Why? Because we're the house of the rising gun. I'm your host, Sean, and I do apologize we're running a little late this month. We've just been very busy here at the beginning of September and August. But this month, I wanted to do something kind of specific for the new shooters of big boards. And that is, ever since the unknown virus of unspecified origin, it's been really tough to find ammo. So if you're just getting into big bore handgunning and you don't reload, then you might want to know what are the easiest big bores to find ammunition for. So that's what we're doing today. And in the interest of making sure we have a video that's long enough because it doesn't take long to explain too much about each individual caliber on a list like this, we're doing a double list, that's right. This is my The White Album, my The Wall, my Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. This is the top five big bore non-magnum rounds that's easiest to find ammo for and the top five big bore magnum rounds that it's easiest to find ammo for. Before we get started, no, this list is based on my personal experiences going into different stores, going out on websites, and also based on the different varieties that you can get for each caliber. So your personal experience might be a little bit different. But with that said, let's go ahead and start out with the non-magnum big bores. Number five, the 44 Smith & Wesson Special. This may surprise some folks, but while this is a fairly well-known big bore revolver round, the 44 Special isn't that common when you're on the hunt for ammo. First appearing in 1907, the 44 Special was designed by Smith & Wesson for the new at the time end frame. It was designed to be a big bore defense round lobbing a .429 inch chunk of lead down range. But being a bigger bore means a bigger revolver, and a lot of folks didn't like the bigger frame as much as the smaller 38s and 357s, so it never enjoyed the same popularity. And while it's easier to find than some other rarer big bore rounds like the 45 Gap, it is still not as common. That said, I do see it fairly regularly in many stores and many websites that I have visited. You can find varying bullet weights from around 165 grains to 260 grains with varying modest velocity levels. It's not too tough to locate, but there will be stores that never carry it, so there are four better choices if you're wanting to get into some big bullets. Number 4. The 45 Colt that's right, we're talking about the old school cowboy era originally black powder loaded 45 Colt. When you're looking for a big bore revolver round that doesn't pack magnum punch, this is actually pretty easy to find. Originally designed in 1873 for Colt's single action army, the original 45 was quite a solid performer, and still is. Launching a .451 inch to .454 inch projectile, this round will sport bullet weights of 185 grains up to around 260 grains when loaded to original pressure specs. If you go for plus P rounds, you can get up to 335 grains and will essentially get 44 Magnum performance. And while it seems like it shouldn't be so, I have an easier time locating 45 Colt ammo when compared to the 44 Special. It's in more stores and has a ton of options. So whether you're gonna plink, carry in the woods, or compete in cowboy action shooting, you should have no problem locating what you need. Number 3. The 10mm Auto. Finally, a list entry with some real chutzpah. Designed by Colonel Jeff Cooper back in 1983, it was intended to be a better ballistic performer than the 45 ACP, which it definitely is. I like to think of it as a 40 Smith & Wesson, but, you know, for men. It will shoot a .400 inch projectile weighing between 135 to 220 grains, and they will be fast and give your hands some recoil to contend with. Being a favorite of mine, I am happy to reload this as it can be tough to locate. While definitely more readily available than the previous two entries, it's not super common. In the last five years, it has seen a major revival and is now, pandemic notwithstanding, pretty easy to come by. It's pricey, but it is reasonable to find, so you should be able to find some ammo lurking around most local stores if this is what you want to go to the range with. Number 2, the 40 Smith & Wesson. And now we come to the ever-popular little brother of the 10mm. Now, my snark aside, this is a solid round. Developed by Smith & Wesson in 1990 to resolve the complaints about the 10mm, the 40 Smith & Wesson will shoot the same .400 inch bullets weighing anywhere from 135 to 200 grains at about 75-80% to 80 of the 10mm's velocity. It has shown great penetration, great muzzle energy, and has been much more controllable when it comes to shooting. And despite law enforcement deciding to return to the 9mm in recent years, it still remains a great defense round. This is also an extremely easy round to locate, and I rarely have trouble finding any ammunition for it in any place I look. And while its popularity has significantly decreased, 
The ammo is still the cheapest on this list and you will probably never have trouble acquiring some for a trip to the range. Number one, drum roll please. The 45 ACP. It had to be this round. Produced in 1905 by our Lord and Savior, John Moses Browning, for use in the new Army sidearm he was developing, although I can't for the life of me remember which gun that was. The 45 Auto, aka the 45 Automatic Colt Pistol, aka the 45 ACP, has been a favorite of the firearms community and I can't see it ever disappearing. Shooting .451 inch bullets weighing in at 165 to 230 grains at fairly modest velocities, the 45 ACP has always been around to showcase the success of being short, fat, and slow. Well, I'm tall. This caliber is so easy to find ammo for, you can just go outside and start looking under rocks. Seriously though, aside from 9mm, this is the easiest round to locate out there, and it has rarely ever been missing from the store shelves, except for when the beer bug made those shelves empty of pretty much everything. If you want to shoot big bore guns and want an easy time locating ammunition, this is hands down the round to pick. And now, on to the Magnum calibers. And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Number 5, the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Shockingly, I stumble onto this round quite frequently. Developed by Smith & Wesson in 2005, the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum was designed to be a super fast, flat shooting, exceedingly powerful hunting round. And it is just that. This round launches .452 inch bullets from 200 grains to 400 grains and produces velocities that are nipping at the heels of a 4570 rifle. This round is serious business. And finding ammo for it is still quite a challenge as it's not super common and not a ton of manufacturers make ammunition for it. But most stores I have visited at least have the 200 grain FTX Hornady ammunition. So it is out there if you're looking for it. Number 4. The 50 Action Express. The original mass-produced 50 caliber badass. Produced in 1988 for the Desert Eagle, the 50AE has been a round that has continued to be sought after. The cartridge launches a .500 inch bullet ranging from 300 to 380 grains at magnum velocities and producing enough muzzle blast to make everyone at the range look your way. Trust me on this. While it has been eclipsed by another 50 caliber handgun cartridge in the last 20 years, it has never disappeared thanks to the platform that made it famous. And every time I'm in a gun shop, the Hornady 300 grain XTP mag rounds are almost always on the shelf. If you buy a Desert Eagle .50, you should be able to feed it regularly, no problem. Number 3. The 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum When it comes to the king of the hill in terms of power, the mighty 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum is it. Developed by Smith & Wesson to reclaim their lost most powerful handgun in the world title, the cartridge hit the market along with the X-Frame in 2003. And since it shoots .500 inch bullets ranging from 275 grains all the way up to 700 grains at velocities that will make the flash jealous, it has earned its reputation as a serious powerhouse. Since everyone knows this and wants to own the most powerful handgun in the world, ammo is much easier to find than you would think. Lots of manufacturers produce ammo for it, and I can't remember the last time I tried to find a box of ammo for it in a local gun store and wasn't able to find something. The scourge of 2020 being the exception, of course. If you want big power and easy to find ammo, this is a good choice. Number 2. The 454 Casul. From out of nowhere comes the classic Magnum Plus round that stole the show for handgun hunters back in 1983. Shooting .452 inch bullets from 240 grains to 360 grains and at velocities you'd swear weren't capable in a cartridge of this size, the 454 Casul has been hunting everything that walks the earth since Dick Casul got the load data settled. And while it is far from common, the chambering of it in the Ruger Super Red Hawk and the Taurus Raging Bull back in the late 1990s made it a very recognizable cartridge in the firearms community. While it isn't in every store, it's at minimum as commonly found as the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And my experience has had me finding it in stores I would think wouldn't carry it, and which don't carry the three previous entries. If you want easy to find big bore hunting ammunition that will be usable on anything you hunt when you're deciding what hunting handgun to buy, the 454 Casul is an excellent choice. Number one, drum roll please. The 44 Remington Magnum. Okay, this one should have been expected. 
On the market since 1956, and with few limitations in terms of what game it can take, the 44 Magnum is hands down the easiest big bore Magnum ammunition to find. Blasting .429 inch to .430 inch bullets weighing from 180 grains all the way up to 340 grains at impressive velocities, Callahan's favorite caliber is without a doubt serious business. Mm, you will love business. And in terms of ammunition, the list of companies that don't make something in it is shorter than the list of the ones that do. I have never been in a gun shop that didn't have 44 Magnum on the shelf. Again, the great face masking era excluded. In good times, you'll find whatever your heart desires, and in bad times, you can still find something. And since there's little this round can't do, it's a best choice for finding ammunition in terms of big bore magnums. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this list was helpful for you. Do you agree with our picks? What experience have you had during the great ammo drought of 2020 and trying to find ammunition in the stores? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe as it really helps us out here on YouTube. If you didn't like it, I really appreciate you giving us a chance and watching this all the way to the end. And as always, go big bore or go home.